Now this uh, question which is uh, based on calorimetry, question 15, it is based on calorimetry. It says that you have two identical bodies made of a material for which the heat capacity increases with temperature. This is a peculiar thing which has been given to you as the body is at larger temperature, its heat capacity will be more. Heat capacity is what? Mass into specific heat. Now one of these is at 100 degrees Celsius while the other one is at 0 degree Celsius. So one is having higher heat capacity, another one has lower heat capacity. If the two bodies are brought into contact, then assuming no heat loss, the final common temperature. So here in this particular question, you have to have this principle of calorimetry that heat lost is equal to heat gain, isn't it? Heat lost is equal to heat gain and uh, this is uh, heat capacity, say I am denoting by H1 into delta theta 1, this is H2 into delta theta 2. So let us suppose this is the body at higher temperature. So this heat capacity is more. So this temperature loss that will be less. So it will be 100 minus something, some theta. And this is theta minus 0 degree. And this is H2 and this is H1. So now of course if H1 is larger because it is at higher temperature and they are saying that with the rise in temperature the heat capacity increases. So if this is large this has to be small. So that way theta will be larger than 50 degrees Celsius. You understand? So I will be marking answer more than 50 degrees Celsius for this question that is answer 2 and answer 2 will be the correct option for question 15. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 16. Now this uh, question 16 is based on Newton's law of cooling. It says that a body cools from a temperature 3T to 2T in 10 minutes. The room temperature is T. Assume that Newton's law of cooling is applicable. So what is Newton's law of cooling? You can say that uh, it is coming from 3T to 2T in 10 minutes and this is proportional to average of these two 3T plus 2T divided by 2 minus the temperature of the surroundings. It is saying that uh, the room temperature is T, room temperature is T, it is proportional to this, isn't it? This is the way first equation will be written. Now it is asking the temperature of the body at the end of next 10 minutes. So let us suppose it switches over from 2T to X, X value of X you are supposed to calculate in 10 minutes. So this will be 2T plus X by 2, this is the average temperature minus the temperature of surroundings. This is what you have to have. These are the two equations you have. Now if you divide then proportionality sign will be converted into equality sign. You solve it, you will be getting value of x as 3t by 2. So I will be marking answer 3t by 2 and for that matter the option 2, option 2 will be the correct option for this question 16. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 17.